Hey guys, my name is Dan and I'm a travel photographer and today I'm going to show you how you can clean your camera sensor when you don't have too many things that can clean your camera sensor with you. So let's get into it. Uh, so first, take your camera. A good first step is to first see if your camera has a self-cleaning mode. Um, for any camera that has a steady shot or a stabilization or anything like that, they'll usually will have a self-cleaning mode. And the way it works is it'll move your sensor really fast back and forth or up and down or in any access. And if there's anything that's loose on your sensor, typically dust or any type of like really small pieces of dirt, it'll you know kick them off your sensor. And that's usually a good step. Uh, another thing you could do is clean your sensor with a rocket blower. So the way you do that is you take off your lens, so like this, and you take your rocket blower and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure your camera sensor is facing down and you, know, you don't wanna be like shoving things into your camera sensor if it's like dust or anything floating around. So you hold your camera like this, you take the rocket blower and you do a couple of squeezes and in all directions and make sure everything that's in there can get out. And you know, if there's any dust or anything that's floating around, it'll essentially fall out. And then once you notice that, you know, if there's anything on there that you don't want and it's, it's come off, put your lens or your lens cap back on. Um, and that's usually a good trick. If you still notice that there is anything on your sensor that you can't get off with a rocket blower and like I said in the intro, if you don't have any types of sensor swabs or any other types of cleaning things that can help your sensor, uh, you can actually shoot in lower apertures. And that's a trick that I use a lot because my sensor is usually pretty dirty and my lens is usually pretty dirty. And I don't travel with sensor swabs, at least right now. I only travel with the rocket blower. So shooting in lower apertures helps blur out some parts of the sky or any types of solid backgrounds that you, you know, want kind of cleaned up. It's sort of a, a hack or a trick, I'm not sure, but I also like to shoot in lower aperture, so it sort of complements my style. Um, so that's another trick you could do. Uh, the, the last thing that I'll mention is you can remove any sensor spots with Lightroom, and this really works with anything that you want to remove from your photo that's, that's small and there's enough of a sample area around it to, to like trade the pixels from. So I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so if we take a look at this image, uh, you might not immediately be able to tell that there's any imperfections or sensor spots, but when you zoom in, you can start to see that there's a couple here and there's a couple here and there, there's a lot in this top part of the image like this. So if you notice how the image was taken, it was taken at F18 and it kind of validates the point that if you shoot at a higher aperture, you'll see more of the imperfections of the sensor. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you how you can remove these, but you know, it's, it's, I advise that you clean your sensor and make sure that your images don't look like mine because it's super annoying to have to do this for every image in the sequence. So if you use the spot remover tool right here, you can uh, click and then you notice that it takes a sample of a part of the image here and it removes that sensor spot. So a couple things that I think are good to know is to make sure that you only have your brush big enough to remove the spot that you're trying to, to clone out of a different part of the image. So if your brush is like this, depending on the type of image and the location of the sensor spot or the location of the thing you're trying to remove, you might actually bring in other parts of the image that you don't want. So if you have your brush as small as possible, you're gonna ensure that you're only gonna sample a part of the image that's similar to this part of the image. And you know, let's say you click here and Lightroom grabs something else that you didn't really wanna clone. You can actually drag this spot to a different part that you wanna sample from the image. So I think that's also a really handy trick. And that's it. So that's how you can easily remove sensor spots with the spot remover tool in Lightroom. Okay, cool. So now that you learned how to remove all the sensor spots in Lightroom and learned how to you know, shoot in lower apertures that also help with minimizing the sensor spots and you learned how to use the rocket blower, 
I hope that that was helpful in cleaning your sensor if you don't have any sensor swabs. Um, you know, I do recommend traveling with sensor swabs or at least being comfortable in how to use the sensor swabs to cleaning your sensor. But if you're like me and don't have them with you and want to figure out how to not have those ugly big spots on your camera, these tricks should help.